today, students. We're going to work on solving two-step equations using inverse order of operations. Mr. Pavoni talked about this briefly yesterday as he introduced the idea. We will continue working today. Look at the first example on your sheet. First, we need to understand what is happening to the variable x. If we look at this equation. We see that 2 times x plus 8 is equal to 26. It's 2 times x plus 8 is the same as 26. Now, to know how to solve this, we need to use inverse operations, and we need to use inverse order of operations. So let's look at the inverse operations. First, we need to do the opposite of plus 8, which is subtracting 8. Then we need to do the opposite of times 2, which is dividing by 2. So here are our, our inverse operations. P the opposite of plus 8 is the first thing we do, subtract 8. And then the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. So we do that second. Let's look at the example showing the steps. First, we start off with our equation. 2x plus 8 is the same as 26. We need to subtract 8 from each side. Should we show that, we show that subtraction? We always do operations to both sides of the equal sign in order to keep the equation balanced, similar to the seesaw yesterday in the story. Now, once we have our answers, we need to do the second step, which is to divide by 2. When we divide by 2 on each side, then we get our final answer. You can see that step 1 is when we subtract 8. And step 2 is when we divide by 2. Now, I'm going to pause the video for a moment, or actually ask Ms. Settle to pause the video, because there's a mistake in the example. You need to correct the mistake, and then correct all the work after that so that your answer is correct. Ms. Settle, please pause the video. All right, I hope that you found the mistake. You realize that 26 minus 8 is not, in fact, 26. And 26 minus 8 is, in fact, 18. Once you know that it's 18, then 18 divided by 2 is not 13. But 18 divided by 2 is... I heard somebody say it. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So the correct answer is x equals 9. Let's look at example 2. The equation is 6x plus 11 equals 29. When we look at this equation, we can see that we are multiplying 6 times a number. That unknown number is x. Then we're adding 11. And that is the same as 29. All right. The first operation was 6 times a number, or multiplication, by 6. The second operation is plus 11, or adding 11. So we need to look at the second operation and do the inverse. In order to solve this, the first operation, or the, or the first step, will be subtracting 11. The second operation will be the inverse of multiplying by 6, which is dividing by 6. And let's show what that work should look like. 6x plus 11 is the same as 29. We need to subtract 11 from each side. All right, show my subtraction of 11 on the left side and my subtraction of 11 on the right side. Now, 6x plus 11 minus 11 leaves you with 6x on the left side. On the right side, 29 minus 11 is 18. 
Remember to keep an equal sign since this is an equation and we're showing that 6x is the same as 18. And the second step is to divide by 6. I'm going to show my division as a fraction. So 6x divided by 6 and then 18 divided by 6. All right. 6x divided by 6 is simply 1x or x. All by itself, it is isolated now. And on the right side, 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. That means that x is equal to 3. That's our answer. We can check this answer easily. We can substitute our answer, x equals 3, back into our original equation, 6x plus 11 is equal to 29, and see if we get the correct answer. Let's do that work down here. 6x plus 11 is equal to 29. That's our original equation. But we need to substitute 3 for x, because we said that x is the same as 3. So 6 times 3 plus 11 is equal to 29. If that's true, then our answer is correct. If it's false, our answer is not correct. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 11 is equal to 29. 18 plus 11 is equal to 29. That's true. If it's true, that means that x does equal 3, so our solution is correct. Now, students, as you work today, be very careful to show your work clearly and neatly. Showing your work shows that you have it, uh, are showing attention to detail, and that you're supporting your reasoning, which are both related to our standards of mathematical practice. Best of luck to you today. If you get stuck or have a question, you may quietly turn to a neighbor to ask them. Whatever you do not finish in class is homework. Have a good day.